Hi everyone and welcome back to our next video in Construct 3. In this video, we're gonna take a look at a few things. We're gonna take a look at how we can get our character to be a little bit more realistic here. First thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna go right click on the open space here and we're gonna insert new object. What we're gonna do is we're gonna insert the keyboard because we wanna use the full functionality of the keyboard. So we're gonna insert that. Notice it pops up over here. And if I right click insert new object, we're gonna go add the mouse as well uh, because we may wanna use that for different things. So go add the mouse, here it is. And we're gonna insert that. Maybe we wanna have um, our character the ability to fire bullets and maybe we wanna do that with a mouse click. So we're gonna add a mouse to this here. Now, what I'm gonna try to do is make my character look a little more realistic and I'm gonna do that with the power of the event sheet. When I go up here and click on event sheet, this is where I put in all of my conditions and my actions. So depending upon what I do, maybe with the keyboard, I am going to do some action or maybe some condition with my mouse. If I left click, then that's going to maybe create a bullet action. So I'm gonna set up a condition and action. So if I go to add event, and now I see this keyboard here, I'm gonna click on the keyboard, I'm gonna go next. And here's what I wanna do. Um, when I have one of the keys pressed here. So on key pressed, I'm gonna click on this here. I'm gonna go next. And then I have to pick which key I want. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna have when the right arrow is pressed. So I'm gonna press the right arrow. You're gonna see it pop up in that box. So like so and I'm gonna click OK. And now that is part of my condition. When the right arrow is clicked, I'm gonna go done. And there, I've created a condition here. This condition says when the right arrow is pressed, I'm gonna add an action here. And I'm gonna do it with the main character. So I'm gonna go main character, I'm gonna go next, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down to find something called, just gotta find it here. I'm gonna go, here it is here, set mirrored. So I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna go next. And then we have the choice to go mirrored or not mirrored. Well, if you remember when we built our character, it is actually pointing to the right. So naturally when it is just standing there, it's pointing to the right. I don't wanna mirror it. I wanna keep it as it is. I'm gonna go done, not mirrored. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go add another event. I'm gonna go keyboard. I'm gonna go next. And when a key is pressed, I'm gonna go next and I'm gonna click on a certain key. I want the left arrow key. So I'm gonna click on left arrow. There you see it. I'm gonna click okay. I'm gonna go done. And there on the condition that the left arrow is pressed, I'm gonna go add an action. I'm gonna say that my main character, I want it to be set mirrored. I'm gonna go next and I want it to be mirrored. Basically what it's gonna do, it's gonna flip my character to look like it's going to the left when the left arrow is clicked. So it's gonna look more natural. I'm gonna go done. And then we're gonna go try this here. So if I click preview, let's click and see what this looks like here. So yeah, there we go. When it's going to the left, it is going that way. And when I'm going that way, it goes like that. So there, we've got it set. So the character does mirror when it's going to the left. When it's going to the right, it stays in its normal position pointing to the right. So that are that is some of the things we can do in the event sheet. Now, as you can see here, uh, during the time in which this video is made, 
the free edition when you are logged in, then you have up to 40 events. So I've just used two events. I've got 38 more that I can use for the free version. After that, I will have to purchase a plan with Construct 3. So please keep that in mind when you are building your game. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to mirror your main character. Let's have you go and do that so your character does the same thing. That's it for this video. We'll talk to you next time.